Hey guys, welcome back. It's been a while, but in this video, I'll be showing you how you can deploy a front-end React app to Versal. If you don't know about Versal, Versal is a hosting platform, and you may be familiar with other hosting platforms like Netlify and Heroku, and Versal is just another one of uh, those. So it basically allows developers to deploy their applications with ease and provides a streamlined workflow for continuous deployment, automatic SSL certificates, and instant rollbacks. And with Versal, developers can focus on actually building their app without having to worry about infrastructure. And it also allows for hosting with zero configuration and, in my opinion, is a great platform to use. And today I'm going to be showing you how to use it to host your front-end React app. And I'll go over every step from signing up to deploying your app. So let's begin. Okay, so first of all, we're going to need to sign up um, for Versal. So in order to do that, you can just go to versal.com and then click sign up on the uh, top right corner of the navigation menu. So when you click sign up, you can select either hobby or pro. And for the sake of this video, I'm just gonna click hobby. Um, and for my name, I'll just go with my full name and then I'll hit continue. And there are various ways to sign up. So you can either sign up through your GitHub account, GitLab, Bitbucket, or with your email. So I'll just hit continue with email, and once uh, you guys are done signing up, I'm gonna show you how you can actually deploy it. All right, so now that you guys have signed up, you will be redirected to a dashboard that looks like this. And I'm going to mention two ways you can deploy your app. So if you already have a Git repository for your application, then what you can do is select create a new project. And like I mentioned, if you already have a repository for your app, you can select any of these three platforms right here, GitHub, GitLab, and Bitbucket, depending on which platform the repository exists on to publish your application. And once you've done that, it's pretty self-explanatory from there on out. However, in this video, I will be specifically going over how to deploy your app using the Versal CLI, because I'm aware that you get you guys may not have a repository to publish from. So to deploy the C CLI, I'm going to first show you the app that I'm going to be deploying, and then we'll teach you how to install the CLI. So if you look at this second tab that I have right here on my browser, um, this is the app that I'm going to be deploying, and it's just a basic React app I made using npx create React app, and it just has information regarding the web page and has a promo for this YouTube channel um, in this link right here. Okay. And it only has a front end, which is what this video is intended for. And if I go to my code editor, and if you're new here, I use uh, VS Code, and I'm going to be using the integrated terminal to run all the commands. So I'm going to first uh, stop my React server. I'm just going to clear everything out first. And I'm going to do sudo npm i g versal. Okay. And I'm using sudo because I'm on a Mac, and since we're going to be installing the Versal CLI, we need it installed uh, globally on our machine, which is what this um, G option is for, okay? So if you're using Windows, I'll have the command on the screen for you guys to install the CLI. So I'll hit enter and give it a few seconds to finish installing. So I'm gonna first need to type in my password, I forgot about that. And now it's going to begin installing the CLI. And if you just give it a few seconds, it will finish on its own. Okay, so I've cleared my terminal. And what I'll do now is log into the Versal CLI to deploy our app. And to do that, I can simply type in Versal. Now that we've installed the CLI globally, I can just enter it. And once I do that, what it's going to do is give me a few ways to log into my account. Now, earlier in this video, I showed you guys how to sign up. And for the purpose of this video, I used my email to sign up. So you guys will need to select whatever platform you chose in order to log into the CLI. So for me, I'm just going to choose my email. So I'll just select email, right? Then once I hit enter, it's going to ask me to enter in my email address. And what it's going to do is basically give me some steps to 
um, log in. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and then I'll come back. So once I have logged in to the CLI, it's going to ask if we want to deploy the code inside the directory um, of our project. So you just need to make sure that this path right here is correct and make sure that this is the path where your project is currently in. And for me, it is. So I'll just type in Y for yes. Okay. And then it's going to ask uh, about the scope and your scope is basically the account username. And when I signed up using my email, I automatically generated one um, matching my email. So I'll just hit enter. And then it's going to ask me if I want to link this project to an existing project that I may already have on Versal. And since we're just doing the development or the deployment of a singular front end app for the first time, I'm going to put no, and I'm assuming this is what most of you get, most of you guys um, will have as well. So I'll hit no, and it's going to ask for the project name. And by default, it'll be the name of the parent directory, which is Versal Frontend App Deployment. And I'm completely fine with that, so I'll do that. But if you guys want to uh, customize your name, then you can do that as well by typing it in. But I'll just hit enter. And then it's going to ask the directory in which the code is located in. And since we are in the directory of our application, which is Versal Frontend App Deployment, um, I can just uh, hit enter, which will automatically point to the folder that I'm in with this dot slash right here. Okay, so I'll hit enter. And then it's going to set up the project. Okay. Um, and then it, it's basically going to, as you can see right here, it says uploading. Okay. And here, since I created my project using Create React App, it's going to ask if we want to override the build settings of Create React App. And if you guys also created your project with NPX Create React App, there's no need to override anything since this is how we are meant to um, build and deploy the application. So you can just um, type an N for no. And then once you hit enter, it will actually build and deploy our application um, or deploy the build actually. So you can basically give it a few seconds and your application will be ready and online. So once you have finished deploying, it will show you the URL of your application. So right here, if you look to the right of where it says production, you can see the URL of your application. And this right here is the name of our application. And the, of course, the hosting platform that we're using is Versal, so it's going to have .versal.app. Now, if I click on this right here and open it, you can see that this is the exact app that I deployed and it's online and live. And just to make sure this is the same app that we created, if you go and look back at the local host right here, it's the same content. And yeah, so that's basically how to deploy your application to Versal. And that's about it for this video. Um, I hope you guys found this informative and helpful. And if you did and were able to successfully deploy your application to production, uh, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And congratulations for deploying. If you have any questions or comments, um, I'll feel free, feel free to uh, comment them. And if you want to chat with me privately, you can email me, and I'll do my best to reply to you. And um, if you are a returning viewer and have watched my videos in the past, I do apologize for not being able to upload. I've just been really busy with school and internships, so I haven't been able to um, produce much content but I will be continuing to um, make more content. So yeah, I hope this was informative and as always have a nice day and take care.